So we're here with Dustin Carpenter for the first ever This Is Music Compilations interview for the blog, thisismusiccompilations.tumblr.com. <laughs> Dustin, you just played Narrative's last show. Um, what was your favorite part of the night, and what was your least favorite part of the night? My uh, least favorite part of the night was playing the new song that we had never played, ever. Which was a song that was absolutely horrible. Which you probably heard we put that on the split with In Regret. Uh, we went on a tour with them like, in early August. Which the song sounds cool, it's cool that it's on the CD, but it was not meant to be played live. As I found out tonight, and the best part of the set... Shit, um... Am I allowed to curse? Yeah, you're allowed to curse. It's just uh, YouTube. Fuck yeah. Uh, best part of the set was when it was over. <laughs> as cheesy as that sounds, not, not like, okay, we're doing an interview, we're right. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for in interrupting our interview, dude. That's Nate Clark, he plays in a band called Countersmith. They fuck everything up all the time. Best part of the set was easily when it was over. Not because I'm that pessimistic, I'm pretty pessimistic, but because that seems to be the only time the kids really interact and have fun. It's, it's consistent fun, but easily the last, last little bit is where kids want to use up all their energy. So that's kind of cool. That's probably my favorite part. So, um, run us down on the hardships of the night. Holy shit. Uh, well, my other band called Young Band, we opened, and that was cool. We were supposed to start at 6, started at like 6.30, no big deal. Eight bands playing. The band started half an hour late, no problem. But uh, after we played, a band called Currents played, they were uh, I think they're probably going to be on one of your compilations eventually if they haven't already. If not, they should. But after they had played, not a single other band out of the eight bands had showed up. So that was kind of stressful, but the band showed up, we got everything worked out, that was cool. Then, um, drummer for the band Pirates, uh, slipped on some silly string, as cool of a story as that is, and fell and broke his ankle. Uh, paramedics were called, fire department was called, the show at that venue was shut down. So, uh... I don't know, what would you call what I did? You know, like, like, he just, I guess, took control of the situation. I didn't really take control of the situation. I just jumped on a couple of cars and I was like, hey, you kids really want to go home after the fucking you paid six bucks to see half the show or do you want to see the show? So after like five minutes of searching for a venue uh, and me yelling at kids trying to get them excited about something and get fucking hyped up about the real thing, after five minutes of yelling at kids and trying to get them excited about North Carolina hardcore or fucking, I guess that term is used loosely since there's some fucking douchebag elitists in North Carolina hardcore, but uh, trying to get them excited about it. So I was like, do you kids want to fucking see this or not? So uh, a few phone calls were made. We got the show here at the bonus room in Huntersville. It's like 30 minutes away from where it actually was. And the guy who owns it was nice enough to let us all play and not charge us anything, not charge the kids anything, and uh, I'm so fucking grateful that we actually got to do this. That and then another one of our friends, Greg Baratak, said, uh, got their nose broken. Because we can't have a single band play without someone getting hurt. Because that's how we do. We go hard in the motherfucking thing. I feel like my side's burning up. <laughs> oh, okay. We got more people inter interrupting the interview, getting in here. It's okay, he's oh, in there. We're doing a narratives interview. It's a narratives interview now. Now it's a group interview. Group interview. Oh. Oh, so, is it really the last show? Uh, no, but come here on the 18th. Wait, six months. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody come back on the 18th. For all intensive purposes, this is intentionally our last show. Yeah, this way. Before we went on tour last, it was gonna be. But right now, like, like Ryan and Austin are going off doing their own thing, and we're doing our own stuff. But we'll come back to it sometime. It's yeah. we're kind not of important. We <laughs> you never know. Ryan just never <laughs> doesn't. What's your name, John? You just never talk. John, I can't say it's our, hey! our last show. Hey, what's up? I can't say it's our last show because we've said that shit before so much. About five times. But it, it feels like it's about that time, but you never know. So for now, we're just going to hang it up. We're in the same spot Baratech was in December. <laughs> yeah. well, basically, whatever happens, happens. That's the best we can do.
All right, well, thanks for sitting with me. I'll be sure to get back in touch with you guys whenever the next comp comes out, if you're still playing music or if Pain and Panic. So you want to give a give every, everybody a little uh, uh, shout out to your new band? Go look up Pain, and, and, pain and Panic on Facebook. Yes, we're next. That's the name that's from Hercules. Dozen new bands. <laughs> Any bands you want to play? What? Any bands you want to play? I don't have a name for it. I don't even have members for it, so. No. <laughs> no. He does not have a new band. John, any new bands you want to plug? Yeah. Tell him about Cock Block and Tuggies. What's going on with Young and Baron? Did we, did we plug that yet? <laughs> Young and Baron? Are we breaking up? Yeah, we're in another band called Young and Baron. He plays drums. So. Okay, I'm going to plug. I'm in Young and Baron. So is this the worst interview ever yet? Young and Baron is probably the best interview ever. No, Gambit. Ask us the worst. Yeah, you should see the Gambit interview on the DVD. It's fucking great. Is anybody else's head doing this? Yes. Oh, it's my 21st birthday, by the way. That's kind of cool. I was drunk as shit like two hours ago. Now I'm sober. All right, well, cookout close. So cookout close. Now we got open 24 seven. Now we got to find somewhere else to go. Where's the after party of the after party? Is it? I don't know. I'm going. I'm going back to Lancaster. I think I'm going to.